All right, for today's video review, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers 2006 Classics Voyager Class Jetfire, a, uh, a very cool figure. Definitely, I think, one of my favorites from the Classics toy line. I think we have got better Jetfires now, but uh, this guy still has a, a lot to offer, and he's a pretty fun figure. Um, but uh, yeah, he's got uh, quite a few options in his jet mode. You can see he comes with quite a few accessories here. Uh, you know, the reason for that being, you know, it's always been kind of tricky to make a proper toy of Jetfire because he's got his two different designs, the toy design and the show design, which if you're unfamiliar is basically because the Jetfire toy uh, was a repurposed Macross uh, figure, even though in Japan, Macross was still owned by, uh, I want to say Bandai, uh, not Takara. So they couldn't really sell the Jetfire toy because, you know, it was a whole different property in Japan, which led to, you know, a bunch of legal problems for Jetfire showing up in the show. Uh, so he had to be, you know, redesigned for his show design and renamed, I guess, just so he didn't have any passing, like didn't have any resemblance to the toy. I don't know why, why they would have him be renamed since it's not like Jetfire is a Macross thing. Uh, but so famously, it was called Skyfire in the show, I guess, it's just so he doesn't, you know, look like the toy that was being sold as Jetfire on shelves. But um, so basically, that means for like updated versions of Jetfire, they've had to make a choice of whether he kind of like does the show design or does the toy design. And this is one of the ones that tries to do a kind of a bridge between the two of them and I, I think it does it fairly successfully um but uh yeah he's got a few options in his jet mode here uh, like a lot of you know macross style planes you can have his wings swept back like that or they can click a, a couple uh clicks out to the side so it can be you know flying more like that i feel like it looks better when it's just like one click out to the side uh, or swept all the way back. Um, but obviously you can also take his uh, his big booster pack here and he's got two big clips right here that just go onto two, you know, clip sections there. And you have to fold down these, uh, these sections here and you can just clip it on just like that. And then what I usually do is I usually bring these, uh, the tail fins back up just to sit kind of like at an angle like that. And I definitely feel like with the booster pack, he looks a lot better uh, with the uh, the wings extended just like that. And then he also comes with these little uh, spring-loaded missile launchers, which have a big uh, clip point right there, which can go onto the arms or what will be the arms in robot mode. Uh, he also comes with uh, this helmet, you know, so he can have a more show accurate head design, but then have a helmet that makes him have a more, you know, toy accurate head design. So kind of the best of both worlds there. And uh, for storage for this, you can see there's these little gaps right here in the front section. What you can basically do is unfold this and then you can just, I mean, it, it's designed so it can stay on his head the whole time for transformation. So you just basically put it on his head like it's supposed to be for a robot mode. And then when you fold this section up, his little uh, ear turret pieces stick out the side and act as uh, turrets in the jet mode. And then he comes with this handgun that splits into two pieces and can be stored by basically just plugging it into his hands uh, underneath here. And uh, yeah, it's nice that all of this stuff has places to go in uh, in alt mode. Um, it definitely, you know, it, I like the variability with this toy where you can like really stack him up with a different amount of weapons. Like he can just be like the plane jet by himself or he can have a bunch of guns or just have the boosters or whatever. Uh, and then even with this, there's some options too because both of the boosters have this gimmick where if you slide this red piece back, it will flip out these uh, these guns here. So he's got like kind of a, a weaponed up mode, which is pretty cool as well. Um, but uh, yeah, he also has a pretty decent landing gear here. It actually has like little rolling wheels. Obviously this can all fold away, but uh, you know, we'll just get into that for the transformation. And then, you know, when you've got these here, these also have a little bit of rotation, which is nice. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty fun playable uh, jet. Uh, in terms of comparisons in this mode, here he is with Kingdom Sideswipe just for that standard one. Uh, and for a standard Voyager jet, here he is with Earthrise Starscream. And why not? I'll show him off also with the, uh, the Universe Starscream since like these are the two smaller versions of the characters. So I feel like these are the two that you'd kind of want together in your collection. I feel like that they look pretty good together. And then last but not least, here he is with our most recent Jetfire, our big commander class, who's obviously much, much bigger than he is. But uh, yeah, this one was going for a much more, you know, sort of strictly show accurate 
look, especially in terms of the jet mode. So it really doesn't have a lot of that like Macross DNA in there, whereas this one still feels very uh, Macrossy in nature. But uh, yeah, to get onto transformation, uh, you can leave all the stuff on for the most part. I guess you do should kind of take the uh, the weapons out of the hands, but the rest of it can stay on, which is nice. Um, first things first, we'll just fold up the uh, the landing gear here, just like that. Then what we want to do is uh, take the arms here, they kind of tab into the side of the legs and just untab them and then bring them up on this black armature piece and then rotate them back down at the shoulder. And we can also uh, rotate the, uh, the guns around so they're facing the proper direction there. And just do that on both sides. Then you want to basically take this entire back section, it'll kind of untab from the legs and just come up on this armature. You wanna, it'll kind of move the nose cone out of pace, place. Basically, you just wanna unpeg it so you can take the legs and just extend them out on this uh, slider here. And then you can untab them from each other. And then the uh, there's like a geared keying to the, uh, the feet. So if you open one section, it'll open the other section as well, which is kind of neat. Um, and then you can take the other uh, wings and just fold them up like that. Take the nose cone section, split this front bit and kind of fold that out to the side. You kind of have to move the, uh, the ears out of the way. And you can fold this bit up and then fold this whole section down like this. Take the little nose cone bits and fold them up to become part of the chest here. Take this panel, fold it in, and then fold that back up like that. And that will all lock in a place like that. Uh, and then we can take the, uh, the head here and we'll just rotate it around like that. And then take the backpack and then just double hinge it up like that so it tabs onto his back. Definitely going to have to... Uh, adjust the camera here in a, in a bit. But uh, one thing I do want to mention is like by default, he definitely cannot really stand. But one thing you can do is uh, when you have these clothes, if you just like bring this one click forward, uh, then when you open it up, it's just ever so slightly leaning forward, which means he can actually, you know, reasonably stand up. Oh, I forgot to flip this around. But um, but uh, yeah, that's a, it, it's just a little, you know, trick to kind of mitigate that. And there we have Jetfire in his robot mode. And uh, yeah, he looks pretty cool. Just like with the, uh, you know, the jet mode, there are a few options here, depending on how much of the gear you want on him. Uh, his base robot mode, if you just like take off the, uh, the helmet here, this is what his head sculpt looks like. So he still kind of has the like turret things on the side that they're just sculpted in. And then obviously we can take off the, uh, the guns here, take off the... <laughs> the backpack and uh, that's basically his base robot mode in the base robot mode, i usually like to sweep the wings back just because i feel like it it looks a little bit better but uh, and then like take the the tail fins and fold them back like that and obviously we can kind of unclick the uh, the feet here because he doesn't need it uh just by himself but uh yeah that's that's what he looks like i guess i'll go over the articulation just in the the base mode here because it's pretty it pretty pretty much stays the same. Uh, his head is on a ball joint here, which can rotate around and look up. It is seated pretty far back. So when you rotate it, it does kind of like, you know, move it to the side as well. Uh, his shoulders are on uh, on like kind of a soft ratchet here, which is a little bit annoying because sometimes it moves like the, the lower armature bit and then they can rotate out to the side in a soft ratchet as well. Um, he's got a technically, it's not really a bicep swivel because it's just below the elbow, um, but he's got a ratcheted elbow that goes about 90 degrees. He's got a, uh, a wrist joint, which is nice. Nothing at the waist just because of you know, how everything transforms. Uh, the hips are very strange. They basically, they have a, a, like a dual hinge system here where they can go forward on this hinge and then out to the side on this hinge. So it's like, you know, there's no, again, no thigh swivel. There's only a rotation below the knee. So like the knees are, you know, the, just it, it technically functions. It's just a little bit clunky. Um, he's got about 90 degrees of bend at the knee and then yeah you know his knee is a little bit high but he's got it and then like i said if you kind of tease the the ankle joints you can kind of bring them like a click forward or back when you unfold them just kind of adjust the angle of the feet which in terms of getting him to like stand with all the stuff on is really helpful but otherwise i don't think it really does a whole lot for any poses um but uh yeah obviously you can still use the uh the missile launchers that still works uh, well, I guess we'll put all of his weapons back on just so we can show him off in his full mode again with everyone else and then give him his, uh, his weapon as well. Um, another thing that you can do, which I'll show off here once I uh, <clears throat> get all the stuff back on, is you can obviously 
uh, still do the sort of like weaponed up mode for the uh, for the jet pack there. Uh, it still works. Basically, you can just fold these up and they flip out. And then once those are flipped out, it kind of unlocks this hinge. So you can bring this down to sit over his shoulders, which is really nice. Uh, I can never get them like totally sitting at the same level. They always feel like they want to like one wants to spring up more than the other. It's a little bit annoying, but eh, you know, it's not terrible. It's just a, you know, you kind of have to work with it a little bit. Uh, and then we can give him his gun here, which he can obviously hold as two different guns if you want, or you can, you know, peg it together so you can hold it as one gun. Uh, unfortunately, there is nowhere to store the, like, main handgun in, uh, in robot mode. There's no, like, extra peg holes anywhere, unfortunately. Like, it would be nice if there was just, like, one on the backpack so you could kind of just, like, peg it onto the back, but there isn't, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, no, I think he looks pretty cool in his, like, full weaponed up mode. Uh, in terms of comparisons in this mode, here he is again with Kingdom Sideswipe, so you can see how he stacks up with a mod modern average deluxe. A lot of <laughs> red and white and black in this video, pretty much all the figures we have are, and I guess bl a bit of blue as well, but um, here he is again with the, uh, the two star screams, so you can see what he looks like with them. And then last but not least, here he is with our Commander class Jetfire, who's definitely not going to fit on frame here, but you can see definitely quite a lot smaller. I definitely prefer this version of Jetfire because it's a lot more, you know, accurate to how he looked in the cartoon. And uh, like in the cartoon, he is humongous, which he's supposed to be. But, you know, this is still a, a fun version of the character nonetheless. I like that he's sort of got like these armor bits uh, in my sort of like head can, it's like, oh, he's like a scientist, right? So he doesn't usually wear all his weapons all the time, but he does have all this stuff. Maybe it's like, you know, his or Wheeljack's inventions or something like that. <laughs> so he can get go into like powered up mode or whatever. But you can also fold the little like antlers forward to have there be like extra turrets coming from the head. Um, but yeah, no, just a, a really fun figure and very playable with all the armor bits. I like how it all functions. The only bit that I don't really particularly like, honestly, is just the handgun just because it doesn't, you know, store in robot mode. And that like would have been really easy to accomplish just by like pegging into the back here. But eh. Whatever, I feel like he's got enough weapons that I'm kind of comfortable just putting this in a box and calling it a day. Like, it, it, this all works well enough for me. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to him. A really fun figure. Uh, he's definitely a bit clunky in terms of his, like, articulation. He's got a few sort of, like, unnecessarily, you know like tight ratchets that only have like the kind of in-between clicks, the way his legs function is a little bit uh, clunky as well. But, you know, he's still fun, all things considered. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to him. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, here we have Transformers Classics Voyager Class Jetfire.